Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at One Four Seven, and it's Continue Organising Day. Um, so I'm back to dealing with my spares, and I love this system for my spares. I have done ever since I created it, probably coming up to three years ago. Um, it has worked for me, and it's still works for me all I'm doing now is making it pretty um, I'm making it pretty with these thicker grip seal bags that were gifted to me by Diana um, I'm also making it pretty with the new little labels in my shop um, which have the DMC numbers on on both round labels and on square labels which of course dictates which diamonds are in said baggies. What I'm also doing is I am also limiting it to two baggies per section. So for example 310 as we know is a very popular diamond. I have been diamond painting now for over three years or coming up to three years and um, so of course I have quite a few black being one of them. So I'm limiting myself to a bag of each spare which is plenty if I need any for um, any projects. If I do decide to do another heaven and earth design when I've finished the one I'm currently using my spares on, then I diamond paint enough that I'm sure I will be able to collect them up again. But what I'm doing is I'm having in my spares a limit of one bag. I'm hoping, though I don't know, <laughs> Don't know if it'll work, but I'm hoping to get my spare diamonds down to two boxes from three. And what I'll actually do with the third one is I will use that to put any extras, so the likes of any extra 310, um, and I will share them with people that need them. And if I ever do decide to do another project, I will of course start keeping hold of those diamonds too. But I got this first row done and it has shrunk down a bit because I've got rid of some 310 for example but I'm going to start on the next row and start moving them over now. So I do already have my nice pretty labels again from my website. I do already have those on so I don't need to change those and what I'm doing is I am putting two bags in for each colour whether I have diamonds for them or not. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm labelling up one with a round sticker and then I'm labelling up the other with a square. And then if I have any, i.e. this 311, I'm going to pop that in with the rounds. Now I don't need these baggy inserts, which is just cardstock to help the bags stay upright. I don't need them as much anymore because these bags are thicker, but they are dearer. Um, so if you do have thinner bags, it is handy to have what I call sort of a baggy insert in there. Just helps the bag to stand upright if it's only got a few diamonds in. So that's 311, and we'll pop that back in the back of the second row. 312, I do have some. So again, I'm going to get two bags and these do actually have, um, these bags actually have sort of a shorter side and a taller side. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see it, but the back one is a little bit taller. So I'm just trying to make sure that I keep the, um, them the same way round, just because then it's a little bit easier to open. And for some reason, that 312 is not straight. Let's try that again. It's the thing with round stickers. You can normally put them anyway. Okay, so 312 in round. And I will sort out and reuse all of these baggies here, these thinner baggies. Um, I'll be reusing those for any extra diamonds that I'm going to be sharing with people. So maybe I have, for example, 310s. I have a huge bag of spare diamonds um, and when people ask for them they're not necessarily going to need a bag as full as what I have so what I'll do is I'll tip some out into a bag and send them on 
Not the squares though. I need those for my heaven and earth designs. Once my heaven and earth designs is finished, then I'm sure I will have plenty more. But for now, I'm just working on my basic spares and let's see how many oh, see how many I can get in before this rose cluster is full. What have we got next? 315. So we only have one for these. Only have some round and it may be that the squares I have spare are in my heaven and earth design because I keep those separate. Just to avoid confusion. But 315. Oh, helps if I open the bag. So this is a step that you yourselves, if you're setting up a storage system, might not need to do. Of course, the tipping into other bags. But I do like the idea of having bags ready for any spares. Um, plus, I don't want sticker sheets floating about, you know, that are part used. I would much rather just use up the whole sticker sheet. Okay, so three, oh, 316 and 317. Okay, so 316 I don't have any, and they actually stuck together because of, with the 317. Whereas actually having two bags in between helps that process. So 316, I obviously don't have any but we will still label up the bags. I do have my 5200 still left on my sheet as well because I did used to keep those at the front of my storage, but then I moved them to the back. Okay, now we're on 317, of which I have a bag of diamonds. And I have them currently here in round. I know I do have square in one of my heaven and earth designs. And when I've finished it, it will move into this type, into this storage with the rest. Now this bag is quite full, so I may or may not have some left over. Because while these bags are thicker, they are slightly smaller. Yeah, I'm going to have some left. So while they are thicker, they are thinner across wise. They are only two inches rather than 2.25 inches. And I know it's not a lot, but because they're thicker, it does make a difference how much you can store in it. So what I'll do is I'll pop a baggy insert back in that just to help it stand up. And that will be able to go in my share with others. So we've got round and square and we'll pop those in getting close to getting full but I still feel as though I can get a couple more in there without causing too much problem and here we go so 318 I already have three bags so I know at least one will be able to be gifted in the squares unless I need it for my other heaven and my smaller heaven and earth designs because I didn't separate those diamonds but I will check before I give any away I wouldn't want to give a load of diamonds away and then find that I need them that could cause a problem so let's see how many I get in here this one's actually got a couple of different shades of 318 I think I'm getting close to getting that's probably enough. See the difference is as well with filling these up, with leaving just that little bit of room, if I am de-kitting and I only have a very few amount of diamonds left, you know, maybe a small project and I just have a, a small handful, I probably will tip them into there. But I'll still have some to give away and I'll only have one box to look through when I'm giving away. Square wise, probably done on that as well. So there we go. I have nice, two nice full bags of 318. Plenty of spares. Okay, 319. So I'm going to pop these, keep them with just a few in, 
and sometimes that's all people need for a project is just a few and I'm going to keep them with my just bog standard labels on so 319 just make sure my bags are the right way around one little round sticker and one little square sticker it does take a bit of time to do this um, and if you can break it up into sort of sections it's a lot nicer to do so this one is a square but I don't have any of these in round but I have my bag ready now which means whenever I do de-kit it should be quicker if I have any spares because I've already got a bag all ready for 319. 320, I don't have any diamonds for 320 so I'm just going to label the bags up and the great thing with this system as well is as your diamonds grow whether you decide to limit how many bags you've got or not, as your diamond collection grows, you can spread into more boxes without having to redo it. I've gone absolutely ages without having to redo my storage at all. Most of the time, I only redo it because I'm making it prettier. <laughs> And that's the only reason I've changed things up. So I changed things up. I used to just have a bog standard label on, on the tops of my little cards. That's what I started with. I then got pretty labels. So that was one thing that I did. I also changed my stickers on my baggies so that any with round diamond tint had a round sticker and any with square diamonds in actually had a rectangle sticker because they were what I had to hand and now I'm making it even prettier with having both round and square but also with the DMC numbers printed and a little diamond on it okay 322 I may be getting to the point where that first row is sort of full enough for them all to stand up but not too full that they're getting squashed in there. I may fit another one, I'm trying to see. So I sort of want them to stand up, but I want to be able to put more diamonds in without causing a problem. I might get another one in. Okay, so three, two, two. And I only have these in round at the moment, unless they're in a different project. I'm going to label them both up, transfer my rounds, but this makes me smile every time I go to put a kit away, especially now when I'm when I'm in the middle of this process. So I did a, a de-kitting video earlier this week and of course I'd only done one video on reorganizing my spares and it was so nice putting ones away in the ones I'd already reorganized compared to the ones where I hadn't done it yet so I'm still sort of getting the odd one in the back here so 326 we don't have any diamonds for and I know that I can always scoot things across when I do get more diamonds so at the moment, I'm just wanting to get this so it makes me smile and looks nice and pretty when I go to de -kit a kit. So we'll put the bags in for that one. Are we done yet? We're very close to standing up. I'm trying to see if I can see how much room there is in there. Not a lot. Okay, 327. And I've nearly gone through my first 100 bags that I was gifted by Diana, but I've got another pack here with me as well. So 327 doesn't have any diamonds. I think we'll call that done. Yes, that lines up nice. Use my little 
piece of foam board. If you do want to see how to create one of these boxes, I do have all the information on my website, which is 4kidsat147.com. I do also have um, these stickers in the shop, both these and these, and DMC cards, etc. There's all sorts there for you to either make your own or purchase items to be able to then build your storage up. It is completely up to you. I even have some free downloads of the basic stickers if you do want to do it yourself. And we do ship worldwide. Worldwide is based on weight. Why did I put that into there when I've got the round sticker on here? Because you weren't paying attention, Rebecca, that's why. Okay, let's do it this way. Um, yeah, so we do ship worldwide um, on low orders, on small orders um, that don't weigh a lot. So postage is done on weight. For very light items, there is a small charge for packing. But once it gets to a certain weight, which is normally once it gets to um, equivalent to a small parcel, there is, there is no charge then for packing because we feel that the postage is enough on its own and we're trying to keep the costs as low as possible um, for people to be able to sort out their spare storage. But you can go through the checkout process without actually paying anything to the point of being able to determine how much postage is. So if you're unsure, you can put the items you're interested in in your cart. And as long as you select the correct country, for your location you will get the price I say it's based on weight um, because we do need to ship by a royal mail so I've got a static heaven going on at the moment which is why I'm shaking this bag to try and get them in you can use dryer sheets to try and help with static um, and pop a little a little piece of a dryer sheet in to help However, I don't have any at the moment. So I'm just gonna have to deal with the static and try and get them to actually go in the bag. Okay, so they're in the bag. Let's deal with these that are, oh, it's like a party. There's a party going on. Let me see if I can get them at least out of the bag. No, maybe not. I was hoping a little bit of a shake and shuffle would do it, but it's not. So I'm just going to pop my finger in and hopefully pick up the remaining diamonds. Let's hope I don't need these for a little while. Okay, that bag's empty. Just get the rest of these to go back in. The ones that decided they wanted to jump past the Ziploc line. Okay, okay. I think, I think we're done. Squeeze the air out. Done. Okay, we're in. Oh, that took a little bit longer, but they are jumping everywhere. So that's 334. 335, we don't have any. So we'll just put labels on these. Ready for when I do. Now, there are quite a few DMC numbers in these stickers that we do. I have um, covered all DMC numbers used in diamond painting. I did find that there was the, from the standard DMC list, I did find that there was the odd um, colour that is discontinued with DMC, but still used by diamond painting companies. So you will find that there's there's quite a few numbers in there and I've got quite a lot of 336 so let's see how many fit into this bag. I want to sort of make it a comfortable fit and if it means that I have spares to share with others then in effect that's perfect because my spare, I have a lot of spares. 
I do have a lot of spares now. So that's shrunk that down a little bit. Um, I also really like putting in bags even when I've not got the colour. It means that my little cards are really easy to see and flip through. Oh, let's put that one in as well. Okay, 340. Again, we've just got the one. So let's get that one labelled up. Let's see if we can get to the end of another row. I was kind of hoping we might be able to get a bit further than another row, but I kind of don't think that's going to happen <laughs> and still be able to get stuff done today that I want done. I'm trying to have a sort out and a tidy up of some stuff that's about. We need to put some stuff in the loft. We need to try and get some stuff out of the house. And I need to try and organise this craft room because it is currently looking a bit like a zoo. The shop has been so busy, I have concentrated a lot of this week on the shop. Um, rightly so and enjoyably so. But I do feel as though my craft room has suffered a bit. Okay, so here's one that I've obviously de-kitted recently, which is why it has no label and no prettiness, because I knew that I was revamping my storage. So I have just thrown it in a bag and written the number on, which is what you can also do if you wanna keep your spares. So you don't have to um, you know, do the full system if you don't want to. This system will work however you want it to work. So you could make this work in a bigger box, you could make this work in a smaller box. The idea is that you just need some form of divider card and then the bags with your diamonds, whether that be multiple or single, doesn't really matter. Um, if you don't want to sit and create all of your divider cards, you could create them as you go. I've got static going on on this one as well. Um, you could create them as you go and just create DMC label cards for diamonds, you know, that you have. And therefore, don't bother with the ones you don't, which might be quicker. Might be a nice way to build it up if you're just starting. Or if you're a bit of an organisation freak like me, then you could just get it all set up, no matter how many diamonds you've got and then you build it up over time. Of course, the more diamond painting that you do. It all sort of takes the same amount of time. The difference is, is whether you do it all at once or whether you spread it out. And at the moment, I'm quite enjoying the fact that I'm spreading this out and doing sort of a row at a time with you guys it sort of breaks up the process a little bit otherwise I probably would have spent three or four evenings through the week deciding that I wanted it done which is not a bad thing but it can stop me from diamond painting so doing an hour or so each week gets the process done. Okay, so that's 349. Get in there. Still not finished a sticker sheet yet though. Let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit. Oh, wrong way. I don't want to zoom in too much because it is sort of a I'm sort of reaching over quite a few different places. I'm liking the fact I've got a little gap now so that I can see where I'm coming from and where I'm going to. I just don't know if the gap is going to be big enough for me to get my spares into two boxes. I know some people have one box um, of spares for rounds and one for square. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Um, yeah, some people prefer to have a box for rounds and a box for squares and keep that side of things separate. You can do that as well. Um, I just didn't want to necessarily do another set of dividers. 
when I originally did this I had the cardstock enough to do one set I didn't have enough to do two at the time I now have plenty because of the shop but um, so I chose to just do one and it works for me I now have one bag of square one bag of round I've always put the round bag in the front don't ask me why it's just what I started doing it's what I know and then I follow up with the square bag behind but the sticker tells me which one is which um, but what I might do now once I have finished this with all the diamonds that don't fit into these bags is I may create another box from the start well pretty much from the start I'm hoping I'll have an empty box um, and I will do all my DMC dividers and create one just for holding the spares that I'm going to share with people so that I can find them quickly and also so that I can put them away because I will end up with diamonds of course that I'll need to put away into there because it's too full in here. So that will be a video once I have finished all of these because of course I need to see if I can squeeze down into two boxes or not. If not, I might have to rethink it because I don't have much space on my shelf. Um, I have enough of a row for these for four, bo four photo boxes, which is three for my spares and one for my heaven and earth designs, for my overflow of heaven and earth designs. I've done that again. I've put it on an angle. Try and make my numbers straight. There we go. They do peel up quite well, these stickers, but they still stay stuck, if that makes sense. So it does allow you to make adjustments if you need to. We've got both in this one. So we've got 355. Five, and 355. Though they are, are they different? Oh no, they're probably about the same colour in each. I thought they were different. Are we going to be fighting with static? No would be a good answer. Yes. This process takes a while as it is. And then I'm going to work on the square. So I hope everybody who watched or anybody who watched the video last week did enjoy it, which is when I started this process. Um, I know quite a few of you did choose to purchase these small stickers, for which we are grateful. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying your time organising your spares. Let me know. You let me know in the comments below. Are you doing it all in one? So are you organising all your spares in one sitting, or are you splitting it up? And are you doing a bit each time? Stay down while I deal with the rest. There we go. So which do you prefer? Do you prefer to do it all at once or do you prefer to do it in stages? Um, you could do a lot of this in stages. So you could um, maybe decide to set up your divider cards all in one. You could label up your baggies all in one if you've not started the system yet, if you're not doing a switch. The only reason I'm not labelling up the baggies before I even pull these out is I do know that I have used, I did a de-kitting um, shortly after these were gifted to me by Diana and I did start to use them. And I'm, there's not many, there must only be probably less than 10 that I used and that are in this box somewhere. Um, but of course, if I've got one that's already in one of these bags, then I can just switch the label. 
and that would make it easier if you are somebody that has maybe already got your storage system set up maybe all you're doing is switching the labels to make it pretty oh look we've properly got two different colors in there <laughs> But I do keep, it doesn't matter if they're different colours to me, if the seller has advised me that it's that number, that is the number that I'm doing. I did used to, if anybody remembers my a lot older videos on this storage system, it has evolved, but it's not evolved in regards to these cards changing um, and, and the actual general system. What has evolved is when I first started, I, so original, original, if we go back to sort of right at the beginning, when I created it, what I did was I de-kitted a kit into bags and then I just slotted the bags in the spots. So um, that was right when I first started and I didn't have many diamonds so that could be a quick way for you to maybe start however i then found that especially for the likes of three tens i would have you know up to 20 of these bags lined up with three tens and it was like why am i keeping them separate so what i then started doing was i started putting them together however if the colors were really really different then I would keep them separate um, I also used to keep diamonds from ever moment separate because their diamonds are really nice quality I also used to keep them separate so I could have a bag with um, 367 in square then I could have an ever moment 367 in square and then I also used to keep all the packets so when you get the dmc numbers like in in a pack of 200 i used to keep all of the packets as well and didn't open them unless i needed them so you would find that i would have even when i mixed you know the dmc i could have a round in black i could have a square in black i could have an ever moment in black I could then have rounds in packets, I could have squares in packets, I could have ever moment squares in packets. And it just got crazy. It got too much um, because of the volume of diamond painting that I was doing. Um, I didn't want, you know, the amount of boxes and stuff that I had to go too crazy. Um, I do only have a very, very small craft room. While I am blessed to have a craft room, it is tiny. It's like two meters by one meter or something. So I do need to keep things compact, compact and organized, which is part of this weekend's project is to um, incorporate storing the shop items in my craft room and making it all work for me um, so that both shop and crafting is easy um, yeah I do only have a, a limited space albeit a space and therefore I, I didn't have the space to keep putting more photo boxes when I could compress what I had in my photo boxes and therefore still be able to fit more diamonds in but and take up less room so I started combining ever moment got mixed in with all the others I opened the packets so the little packets they got opened and mixed in and I started doing those over time so I would do those when I de-kitted a kit so if I went to deep kit and I had some 371, for example, I would pull out all the bags of 371, I would compile them all together, I would add in the ones that I was deep kitting, and that was how I revamped it. So it took, you know, quite a bit of time um, to do. And then, of course, I did my recent sort of change, recent-ish, 
change where I um, did round stickers for round and square stickers for square. Um, not knowing that these nice pretty stickers were coming of course. Uh, I did that in one lot and when I did that I finished off combining any bags that needed combining. Sort of did it over a couple of nights sat in front of the TV and did it all at once. But the basic system has stayed the same and they are just things that I have found work for me as I've gone along. I don't have the space to have multiples. You may be the person that has the space. You're blessed with space to have as many photo boxes on a shelf as you like. And you may find that it's easier to de-kit into baggies and just put the baggies in with the DMC numbers and you could have multiple. You might like to keep some manufacturers separate to others but this system can still work for you no matter which way and it's nice and compact and some people don't keep spares they just tip them all into a tub um, i don't think my my need for organization skills will allow me to do that but that's my personality um, but while I haven't personally had to reach for spares that often, I've been quite blessed in the fact that I think I've only had one, maybe two diamond paintings that have been short of diamonds. I got very close on a recent one, actually. I think a recent one was one of the ones I did actually run out of a 310. Um, luckily, I have plenty of those. Um, the fact that it does happen, and it does happen to people, can happen quite often, is the reason I keep my spares. Also, um, I don't like to waste them, so I think I've got to the point now where I've got so many spares, I've got a Heaven and Earth Designs cross stitch pattern that I am doing using just spares because I had so many and wanted a project to do. Um, Megan, while she's not even started it yet, we, we have all these ideas and no time to put them into practice, um, but she has bought some, or we have bought some wooden items from the works for her to decorate with spare diamonds. And there are many projects that you can do. I am now at the point where it's okay, I need to limit how many I have and I, I am part of the um, Got Diamonds UK group and the main, the, there's, they're in pretty much every country. Um, there is some form of group that allows people to ask for spare diamonds for, you know, paintings that may be missing them for themselves. And I am part of that group and I have always partaken in that group. And when I can, I do send diamonds out to people that need them. But I do find that if I can actually compile them into one box that are for, purely for giving away, I do feel that I will do it more often because it will be easy for me to see if I have them rather than checking my spares and going, oh, am I using them for this? Am I, you know, or, or going in going, oh, I've only got a few. Can I spare them if I need them? I can just go into this box and know what the box that I'm hopefully going to create and know that they are, you know, wild and free and ready for anybody that needs them. That's the plan. Okay, this one is full to bursting. So these are not all gonna transfer, which is fine. I do think I use this one in my other Heaven and Earth designs, but I will check before I fully create my giveaway box. Okay, I've even filled that up too much. That's the, the thing I do like about these thicker bags is these thin ones will go quite chunky when they're full. 
these thicker ones don't allow it to go quite as chunky and I'm liking it because I think it will help my spares box to slim down a little bit. It needs to go on a little bit of a diet. It has too much stuff in it. Okay, 414. This one I must be using in another project because this number is on so many diamond paintings and I only have rounds. So this must be in my heaven and earth design. But this bag currently is half full, but a, a stubby bottom half, half full. Let's see how much it fits in here. So if, you know, keeping your diamonds and you have loads of ideas for projects for your spares or you use them constantly, you may find that these thinner bags are better for you. While there is still room in that one, it's got pretty full. Four one five. Okay, just to making sure that my bags are turned the right way around because I didn't do that on the first one, and I've got visions of me peeling off and switching stickers around on deep kittings in the future. I don't think I paid attention to which side I was putting the label on. Oh, I've got some static, but not too bad. It doesn't help that I'm moving plastic diamonds from one plastic bag to another plastic bag, but looks like we've got a bit of a bit of what we call trash in that one as well. You see all those little bits that are not actually diamond size. They're a lot smaller. Have I opened that? Yeah, I have. I'm starting to lose it, people. It's a good job we're nearly at the end of the row, isn't it? Let's try that. Ah, that's enough. Okay, I'm happy to err on the side of let's not fill it too much because I know that when I de kit, I will, of course have more that way around so 420 oh, I don't think we're going to reach the 500s no we're not because there's 400s down here but we'll get part way through the 400s I think I had a lot more in the first lot where I just stickered up baggies and didn't need to tip diamonds in so I think for this row, you're getting a longer video. Hopefully, once I've got my house and my craft room a bit more organized, so got the stuff in the loft and got stuff sorted out, I'm hoping to be able to do a longer video on this. Maybe, you know, work through a couple of rows of getting stuff done so if anybody does have any questions in regards to this system you know the way I, I work stuff then do ask them in the comments below I will try and I'll try and always answer them as well just in case it is more of an urgent ask <laughs> in fact, let's take those out now and then we know where we're up to Okay, 433. Three. Um, yeah, do ask your questions in the comments down below. And I will try and do a longer one with a bit of a answering of your guys' questions that you may have in regards to spares. I try to cover a lot of it when I'm doing this anyway and things that I remember. about the way you know I used to store them and different ways you can store them in fact the first system I ever set up um, right right at the beginning of diamond painting was actually the um, folder with the baseball card holders I actually set that up 
and by the time I de-kitted two paintings I knew it wasn't going to work for me <laughs> and that was because of how many 310s I had. They just would not fit in the basketball sleeve. Um, I mean it may work if you limit how many diamonds you're willing to keep. You know, maybe if it was used with these bags and limited to one bag, it might work. But it still didn't always sit nice to me, especially because you had a row of, of nine. And of course you could find that it's all the ones in the top corner that you had diamonds to fill. And you could find that all the ones in the bottom corner you didn't have any, so the folder didn't sit even either. Yeah, it just, it just did not work for me, which is why I came up with this system. And I've seen it adopted all across the diamond painting world, which is great. Um, and it can be adapted so much to your taste, your style. Um, so we do have, you know, labels in different colors. Um, you know that will suit who you are these labels we have in a in a few different colors and <coughs> people use different size boxes as well which is great it can be used with multiple size boxes it just depends on the size of your bags and the amount of rows that you can get in it so it may be that you want to use bigger bigger bags so maybe you only split the box in two, or maybe you split it this way because it sits better with your diamonds. And that's what you can just make and tweak for you. I happen to have this size of bag. Um, I picked up some bags that looked like a decent size bag. Um, and that's what sort of started, I think I bought them for the baseboard card holders. And of course it didn't work. So that's when I went hunting and decided to use a box. And I went hunting for sort of a box, one that was pretty <laughs> and, and two that would sort of suit. The fact of, I, w I wanted something that was big enough to hold a decent amount of diamonds, but also small enough that once it was full of diamonds, it didn't weigh a ton. Or was you know a pain to pull out and work on and that's what made this box work for me it's sturdy it could take the weight of the diamonds but it wasn't too big that I'd feel like I was weightlifting every time I wanted to put some diamonds away and I then, Sorry, my memory card, so, um, I then from there determined which way was the best way to have it so I did look at putting bags this way but I determined this way would be easier and would allow me, at first this was thick cardboard from a, some sort of delivery that we'd had close to the time. Um, yeah, I made thick cardboard inserts and then I was like, okay, I actually found I needed a second box. I didn't have any more cardboard and that's when I stumbled across foam board and of course browsing Hobbycraft going, what can I use? Um, and I found foam board. And my turquoise boxes, which were my original, original boxes, which you'll see as the next one when I get through this one, um, that has white foam board in the middle. And this one has black just because it's black and spotty and it's different. Okay, so I think I've got about three more colours to go to finish that row and I think that will have to be my Saturday organising spare diamonds wise done because I want to get this video of course up on YouTube for any of you that are organising your diamonds this weekend and I want to try and gain a bit of my house back say I want to get some stuff in the loft and there's some stuff that needs clearing out and for once in the UK I won't say it's warm it's not warm it's still really cold 
but it is a non-working day as in the, the paid job the salaried job um, it's a non-working day and the sun is out so as long as I'm still in the house where the heating is um, it's still quite fresh outside though it's not bitter freezing so trips to you know the bin or to the car or anything like that are not a problem yeah I want to start that what is it spring cleaning I'm not going to be cleaning I'm going to be tidying but the cleaning can follow once the spring tidying and sorting has been done um, and get some some of those little jobs that I seem to put off all winter I want to get a few of those little things done cleared out okay so I have finished number two so row number two we're now down say this row sitting up quite nicely I probably could move let me zoom out so you can see it all um, I probably could fit one or two more in at the end but I find they're not slouching too much they're not quite stood up to attention I probably would have to put a couple more in for them to be all stood up to attention and I might do if I find I only need a little bit to get them into one box into two boxes sorry I might do that but for now I'm kind of happy the fact that I can flip through these because they've all got bags in I can flip through and see all of these now when I'm putting stuff away and this side has got a lot closer these bags are falling down but that is because they need filling up more um, a lot closer and a lot more of a gap to hopefully shuffle some of these across does look like this next row has quite a few with no diamonds so I'm sort of seeing no gaps in between the cards which means I don't have any diamonds for them I'm seeing quite a lot of that in this row or they do only have a very small amount because as say you can't see the gap that clearly Whereas these rows, you can see the gaps quite clearly. I don't even know if that's coming across on camera. I'm trying not to tilt it too much. But can you see there's nice gaps here now, no matter, you know, whether they've got diamonds or not, because they have bags, there's a nice little gap, which means when, I, when I'm looking at it this way, I can see them all. Whereas this side that I haven't done has got quite a few that are quite close together and you can't quite see the difference because I've not got as many diamonds so we'll see how pretty we can get these boxes looking over the next few weeks and um, thank you so much for joining me for this session I've still not got through the first sticker sheet and then I've got a full sticker sheet but then I've got a oh that's a nice amount of sticker sheet so it ends up being two full sheets and then just two rows um, but no we're not even halfway through the first sticker sheet I was thinking we were halfway but I think that's more halfway two four six seven two four six eight ten twelve no it's it's nowhere near we're nowhere near halfway maybe we'll get to halfway next week um, I hope you're up for a few videos of sorting out the spares um, I hope some of you are joining me in sorting out your spares but in turn I also hope some of you are far too excited and have got it all sorted and done already um, because that's partly what I'm itching to do time just doesn't allow me to but anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon